in a dramatic and intense new release of combat footage. Helmet cam recordings from the Azov 3rd Assault Brigade capture the high-stakes action of Ukrainian forces storming Russian trench positions hidden deep within the forests of Kharkiv. The operation, which took place in densely foliated terrain, showcases the tactical use of armored vehicles and the fearless resolve of Ukrainian soldiers under heavy enemy fire. Notably, the armored personnel carrier, APC, that transported the soldiers into the combat zone did not immediately retreat. Instead, it provided crucial rolling cover for the ground forces as they engaged enemy positions. Military analysts speculate that the thick forest canopy likely reduced the effectiveness of Russian anti-tank weapons, limiting the standoff distance needed for such projectiles to arm and fire accurately. Shortly after the soldiers dismounted, one Ukrainian troop was injured, apparently in the legs, likely from small arms fire. Despite the injury, the seasoned unit pressed forward, moving from bunker to bunker under a hail of suppressive fire. Using a combination of hand grenades and precise verbal coordination, the soldiers neutralized Russian positions one by one, maintaining critical communication to avoid friendly fire incidents in the chaotic battle. In another daring operation, footage from the Ukrainian National Guard's Rubich 4th Brigade reveals a twilight trench raid near Makivka, in the Luhansk region. The assault, carried out under the cover of dusk, resulted in the successful elimination of one Russian soldier and the capture of several others. The footage highlights the nerve-wracking nature of the raid, with Ukrainian soldiers crawling into each bunker fully aware that they could face a cornered Russian soldier ready to fire at any moment. One blurred out wounded soldier, presumed to be Ukrainian based on the camouflage pattern of his trousers, is seen being evacuated on a stretcher. The precision and discipline demonstrated by the Ukrainian forces underscore their growing experience and success in trench warfare. In another astonishing video, a fleeing Russian soldier is pursued by a Ukrainian FPV bomb drone. As the drone nears its target, the soldier performs a remarkable move, catching it out of the air. Yet, in a tragic twist, rather than disabling the drone, the soldier appears to believe he can keep it as a trophy. Unbeknownst to him, the drone is equipped with a command detonating trigger. Moments later, the device explodes, causing life-threatening injuries. Drone footage from the Ukrainian front lines near Pokrovsky shows the brutal combat between Ukrainian defenders and Russian mechanized forces. The footage captures Russian tanks and BMPs being hit by artillery and drone strikes, with some vehicles erupting into flames as their crews abandon them. Despite the losses, the Russian military continues its offensive, pushing toward Ukrainian positions with renewed vigor. Observers suggest that Pokrovsky may have become a primary focus for Russian forces as they concentrate their combat power to seize the strategically vital area. Some analysts speculate that Ukrainian forces employ an elastic defense strategy deliberately trading space for time and forcing Russian troops to fight fiercely for every inch of ground. Others suggest that the Ukrainians may be setting a deliberate trap turning Pokrovsky into another blood-soaked battlefield akin to Bakhmut, where Russian forces suffered heavy casualties. If this is the case, both sides seem prepared for the high price of victory in this war of attrition. As of today, 69 combat clashes have erupted across the front lines in Ukraine, with battles raging in seven key directions. The most intense fighting is currently taking place in the Korakiv direction, according to the Ukrainian general staff. Ukrainian forces have dealt severe blows to Russian manpower and equipment, significantly undermining Russia's offensive capabilities, especially in the rear. In the past 24 hours alone, Russian forces have reportedly lost 1,220 soldiers in combat. Additionally, Ukrainian defenders destroyed 18 Russian tanks and 48 armored vehicles, further crippling Moscow's military efforts. Meanwhile, Ukrainian National Guard Reserve Major Alexei Hetman commented on the recent Ukrainian military operation in Russia's Kursk region. 
According to Hetman, the operation aimed to divert Russian troops and weaken their offensive power. The operation was likely designed to pull back Russian forces, Hetman explained. He described the raid as a swift in-and-out military maneuver. Despite the success of the operation, Hetman warned that if Russia were to concentrate more manpower and equipment in the area, Ukrainian forces might withdraw to protect their positions. Elsewhere, heavy combat continues in the Donetsk region. Oleg Kalashnikov, head of the 26th Artillery Brigade's press service, reported persistent infantry assaults near Chasovyar, with Russian troops conducting up to 20 assaults on some days. They focus primarily on infantry, without the use of mechanized units, Kalashnikov said. He noted that the Russian forces' repeated attempts reflect their dwindling manpower and deteriorating combat effectiveness. Kalashnikov also observed a significant decrease in the use of guided aerial bombs by Russian forces in the area, attributing this to Ukraine's success in downing Russian aircraft. While they have plenty of guided bombs, the preparation time limits their deployment, and they are now concentrating these weapons in other areas, he added. President Volodymyr Zelensky provided additional insight into the situation in the Kursk region of Russia confirming that Russian forces have begun rapid offensive operations there. The Russians have committed around 60,000 to 70,000 troops, but we estimate that approximately 40,000 are currently active," Zelensky stated. Despite Russia's attempts at quick breakthroughs, Ukrainian forces have held firm, and Zelensky praised their heroic efforts.